Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture 4 of unit 2 Inheritance and Interfaces. And in this lecture, we are going to see what is meant by abstract classes and abstract methods. Okay. So, so what is meant by abstract classes? In previous lectures, we saw what is meant by inheritance and the different types of inheritance. And for each and every type of inheritance, we saw it with an example. Right. So, now we'll move on to abstract classes. Before moving on to abstract classes, what is meant by abstraction? You have already heard this term abstraction, right? So abstraction means highlighting the essential features and hiding the implementation details is called as abstraction. So what is abstraction? Highlighting the essential features. Highlighting the essential features and hiding all the implementation details. For example, uh, let's say when you go to a bank, okay, and you are inserting your card to draw some cash. So when you insert your card, all you do is that you enter your PIN and you give what kind of account it is. So only the essential features that is required is being shown to the user. So how the cash is being uh, deposited or how the cash is being returned back once we enter the PIN. So those details and all is hidden. That is one kind of example for abstraction. And what is meant by abstract classes? A class that is declared with abstract keyword is known as abstract classes in Java. And it can have both abstract and non-abstract methods. So what is abstract and non-abstract methods means? Abstract methods is nothing but a methods which does not include any implementation and non-abstract methods are also called as concrete methods and this will have implementation that this this method will have a body and the abstract methods will not have a body or implementation. See the syntax here, you have abstract keyword being defined here for this class and the name of the class is shape. Okay, and inside this class, we are declaring an abstract method. So what is the abstract method here? Draw, right? So this method does not have any implementation. We are just defining or declaring the method does not have implementation or does not have any body right whereas we are declaring another method called display here where this consists of a body so this consists of implementation has implementation So this class shape has two methods called draw and display and the draw method is being like declared as abstract method and since it has one abstract method and this class is also declared as abstract class and this method is called as abstract method since we are only defining it and this does not have any implementation and this display method is called as concrete method since it consists of implementation and we are defining and declaring it okay so an abstract class is what an abstract class is a class which has both abstract and non-abstract method so in this abstract class called shape we have both abstract methods and non-abstract method called draw and display so what is abstraction in java as i said before abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user so another way is that it shows only important things to the user that is whatever is necessary to the user is being shown and it hides the internal details for example what they are saying here is sending sms that is whatever whatsapp messages you're sending or instagram messages you're sending to your friend what you do you just type the text and you just click send the message you don't know how the internal processing is happening or how the message is being delivered to your friend so what is being done here? So whatever is necessary to the user 
that is being highlighted and whatever is unnecessary that is being hidden away from the user. So this concept is called as abstraction and abstraction let you focus on what the object does instead of how it does it. So now I think you are clear about the concept called abstraction. Okay. So moving on to the next slide. Here there is one condition for a class to be declared as an abstract class. So as I said before, if a class has even one or more abstract methods, then that class should be declared as abstract class. So if you are declaring inside a class, okay, again let's take this class A as example. If you are declaring void display as a method, okay, and this is declared as an abstract method now, then this class also should be declared as abstract class irrespective of the other methods which are going to further implement here that is you can have how much ever methods you want which may be abstract or non-abstract methods but if you see one method that is being declared as abstract here then that class should also be declared as abstract okay the next one is abstract methods okay so what is an abstract method as i said before an abstract method cannot be contained in a non abstract class only in, only in an abstract class an abstract method can be contained and if a subclass of an abstract superclass does not implement all the abstract methods the subclass must be defined abstract so in other words, what they are coming to say is in a non-abstract subclass extended from an abstract class, all the abstract methods must be implemented even if they are not used in the subclass. So what they are coming to say here is that, let's consider for example, we have a class A. Okay. And then we are declaring a method called void display. And let this method be an abstract method okay so since this method is abstract this class also should be declared as abstract class a so next we are creating inheriting a child class class b extends a okay and here what we should do is we should implement this method in this subclass that is we should give the details of what this method must do in this subclass so void display system dot out dot print ln you should print something okay you can give any definitions you want but make sure that whatever method you are defining here its body should be defined in the next subclass okay without defining its method you cannot extend another subclass for the abstract superclass okay and then an abstract class cannot be instantiated using the new operator but you can still define its constructors which are invoked in the constructors of its subclasses so what they are saying here is that for abstract classes you cannot create object you cannot create object okay so are you clear with abstract methods moving on here we have an example for you to understand it in a more clear manner. Here you have a class called bike and inside this bike class you are declaring a method bike for which you are giving the implementation details also. So this is called as a concrete method. Correct? A method which has the implementation details along with it is also called as concrete method. And the next method we are de defining is void run, which is declared as abstract method, and we are ending it with a semicolon. So, this method does not have any implementation, and we are declaring it as an abstract method. So, this is an abstract method. And after this, again, we are creating another method called change gear, which has a implementation along with it so this is also called as a concrete method 
So I guess now we are able to understand the difference between what is an abstract method and what is a concrete method. Am I right? So inside this class bike, we have two concrete methods and one abstract method. So even if we have one abstract method also, what we should do? We should declare this class as abstract. So the rules, the rules are being followed here. And next, what we are doing is we are creating a subclass called Honda, which extends the parent class called bike and what is the condition here whatever the abstract method you are defining here you should implement it in the subclass so what is the abstract method the void run so void run should be implemented in your subclass so we are implementing it as system dot dot println running safely and after this we are creating a class for implementing the main method where you are declaring the main syntax and then here you are creating an object for the abstract classes and abstract methods you have created this is the class name of the abstract class and then the constructor from which you are going to print the statements whatever you are given okay and then using the object as reference you're going to declare it as object dot run so if you give object dot run what will be your output running safely and if you are calling object or change gear you will get it as gear changed so now i hope you understood what is abstract classes and abstract methods so an abstract class is something which has at least one or more abstract methods and it also can include its own definitions or methods also that is it can include both concrete method and abstract method also but even if there's one abstract method also in a class that class should be declared as abstract class and the implementations of those abstract methods should be given in the subclasses okay immediate subclasses that is an important point to note and i hope you understood this topic thank you everyone